In this video, Dustin Cole, Chris Hughes, and AT Madam are doing a real life blower door test on a house. And so they're just gonna talk through some of the things that you need to know about a blower door test. For those of you who've never seen one done, this is just kind of an easy conversation about blower door testing from three guys who I really respect. All right, so now what are we doing? Depressurization blower door test. Where do we think we're gonna land on this 2,750 square foot house? What's your guess? I'm guessing 2,700. 2,700. I need to get the speed cable on this thing. It's working so far, but it's not cold yet. So what are we doing? We're installing the speed controller on it so we can cruise cruise oh so is that the ec motor i'm hearing or is that the, the gauge yeah what is that noise that's the speed controller that's what you're hearing is that a fan to cool it ah okay cooling fan it's like a uh computer right so we're at 50 pascals we can now press the button and let it cruise itself or you can dig out the app and let it cruise itself either way What's the difference between uh, ACH50 and ACH Natural? Oh, um, ACH50 is a test pressure. So we're putting a pressure against the house compared to outside relative somewhere around 20 miles per hour. Um, it's just a good benchmark. Uh, natural is what's happening to the house in normal conditions. So when people say run like a multi-point test, where they test the pressure, say at like 10, 25, 35, 45, maybe up to 75. It's really accurate to interpolate for a measurement. Uh, you don't want to extrapolate. So if you go to baseline, right, catch baseline, start zero, you work your way up all the way to 75, and you want to see what normal conditions would be on the house, which would be around like four, um, you have to, you know, interpolate to that. So we run a benchmark so we can draw a line on a graph and interpolate back to natural infiltration from the test pressure of 50 pascals. And that's called a multi-point? Yeah, there's different standards that have different multi-point tests, right? There's the ResNet standard, um, there's one for big buildings, I don't remember the name right off hand, but there's a standard for that, there's kind of a lot of them. So do you have a multi-point test, an automatic cruise on, on the DG1000? You have an app, so you can connect your auto test app to the gauge, and then you can run your auto test app, select the standard, tell everything what it's doing, like I'm in depressurization mode, all of that stuff, and then it will run its test for you, and then print out a report for you. And nice. then you, it will actually show that graph on the report. So awesome. then, you know, you can see what I was just talking about. And it's also geofencing the location of the yeah. test. Yeah, and altitude. Nice. Big thanks to Dustin. Chris and Adam for doing this. I love it when people from the community send in videos, even if they're short, even if they're simple, just to kind of give a broader experience of what things are like in the field. I've gotten to the point where I'm not out in the field as much as I used to be, as much as I would like to. And so if you have something that you would love to send to us that we can share on the channel to help kind of educate people, um, feel free to send it to me, brian at hvacrschool.com. That's B-R-Y-A-N, Brian with a Y, at hvacrschool.com. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to hvacrschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing. You can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.